let me tweak this review a little by asking you to tell me which of the five possibilities apply to you. Possibility one is that you haven't seen the word before. Possibility two is you've seen the word before but you are not sure what it means. Possibility three is you've seen the word before and you think it means whatever you think it means. Possibility four is that you know the word, you've seen it before, and the meaning is this. And finally, the fifth possibility is you know the word and you can use it in a sentence. Okay? So five possibilities. One is you haven't seen the word before. Two is you've seen the word before but you don't know what it means. Possibility three is you've seen the word before and you think it means, okay, whatever that is, that will be fill in the blank. Possibility four is, you've seen the word before, you know it, and it means whatever it means. And finally, possibility five is so definite, you know the word, in fact, you can use it in a sentence. Okay? So you will just shout, the answer that applies to you. We will start with a practice item assessment. Shout your answer. One, two, three, four, or five. I did not hear the others. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, assessment, because we are getting into classroom-based assessment tools for different domains. After you've done the pre, during, and post, what now? Okay. So again, it's just a practice item. So you can change your answer. Assessment, okay? Okay, on three. One, two, three, shout. Okay. Let's hear it from Region 4A. All together, one, two, three. Region car. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Five with the smile. One, two, three, go. Region eight. Five. Five, four. Okay, it's okay. Just take note of it. How about our friends from Region six? Five. Region two. Three, four, B, NCR, wow, five, Re five for region five, okay, magayong sagot, galing sa mga magagayong mga kababaihan, six, Region, no, Region 6, if I called on Region 6. Ah, I'm so, sorry po. <laughs> Seven. Wow, na-practice na. Ready na mayang mag-demo. <laughs> region 8. Grabe naman, di ko naman natatandaan lahat. Nine. Yung akala ko region, uh, region 9, 10 yata yung narinig kong sagot. Region 10. 11. 12. Arm. Karaga. Tapos na po. Arm. Oh. May nakalimutan po ba ako sa 17? NCR natawag na po. Tapos na po kanina yung A at saka B. Meron pa po. 
Region 1. Ay, nako, Region 1. Ako mawatan? Five. Okay. Ayan. Sige. Dahil five ang sagot ng karamihan, let me call in Region 5 to use assessment in a sentence. Tinignan ako ni Ma'am o parang, parang puputok. <laughs> Ano, gusto niya magpalit ng sagot? Four? Para region four sa sagot? Five. O, sino pong gusto? Use assessment in a sentence. Serious po, ha? O, mamaya yung parang use ganito in a sentence. Si Sir nakatingin sa akin. Use in a sentence or define it or say something about it? Oh, that's right. Okay. So, assessment is a process of gathering data and information, relevant data and information about achievements, probably of students or of anyone. That is intended for analysis and decision making to inform and improve instruction. You're you're good. You're cool. There is no reason. There is always a reason to celebrate. Thank you, sir. Thank you for lying to me. Now, that's okay. As long as we move on to the second one. Shout your answer. Is it one, two, three, four, or five? Okay. Let's go to NCR. Okay. O sige nga, brainstorm nga muna kayo. It's okay, you brainstorm a bit so that you come up with the average of all your answers. Okay. Okay. A game. Dahil huli ang Region 1 kanina, mauuna sila ngayon. Five for Region 1. Region 2. Region 3. Region 4. A. 4A. 4B. 5. Ang 5 may utang pang sagot. 6. 6. Seven, twelve. Nagulat ang twelve. Eleven, ten. Asan po ang group te? A region ten. Oh yan. Kasi daw po don't speak when your mouth is full. Kaya hindi mo na sila kaagad sumagot. Nine, eight. Seven. Seven? Asan po yung region seven? Ah, tapos na. Six. Tapos na rin. And, um, car. Arm. Karaga. Asan na yung karaga? Karaga. Oh, ang aning mga, galing lang ako sa Rigao last month. Karaga? Five. Okay, meron pa po ako nakalimutan? Wala na. Okay, hindi ko rin po nakalimutan ang region five na may utang na sagot. Okay, ma'am. Wow, payback si mama. Yeah, we were just about to... Uh, 
joke you na when we shouted five, we were only shouting for the name of the region. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, our definition of formative assessment is uh, an assessment that we often give to our students every after a lesson in order to find out whether they have developed uh, the skill we want to develop for, for, from that lesson. Anyone from any other region who'd like to add to what Region 5 said? Hmm. Dodoblihin po ba natin ang 5? 9 po kayo na, ma'am? 7, sorry, lucky 7. Ayan. Ayan, ang NCR daw po. Formative assessment is an assessment done during instruction for the purpose of clarification Adjustment of sa, um, adjustment and clarification of concepts during instruction. Okay. So mom is saying that it is during instruction, not after the lesson. So, so far we have two different views. One is it's after the lesson that you do formative assessment. Uh, that's region 5. Region 7 believes that it is during instruction that you do formative assessment. NCR, palakpakan daw po si ma'am ng makanyang groupmates. <laughs> ma'am, po. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay, formative assessment is what we call in the K-12 as for assessment as learning. So this is also an immediate feedbacking so that we would know how much as our student learn in a particular topic or skills and also for us to see the progress the day to day progress of our students we don't rec we record this tests or this uh, assessment but we don't include this in interpreting the achievement of our students thank you thank you ma'am so three different views which one is right <laughs> Which one is right? So we will go back to that later. So don't worry, you don't have to answer right now. Summative. Summative assessment, car. Car, five. One. Two. Three. Four. 4A, sorry. 4A, 4B, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Parang isa na lang natira sa 11. Naubos po yung boses kanina sa kakakanta. 5. Five, uh, that's 11, no ma'am? 12? Ay ba naman? Buenas tardes, senoras y senores. Como, uh, como estáis? Hmm? Como, no, como estás? It's uh, singular, you, just one, no? Como estáis? That is... Plural, you. Di po ba? I mean, in Spanish, I don't know if it's the same for Chabacano. Okay, so, como esta? Is, uh, como esta usted? That is actually formal. Formal Spanish for how are you. On the other hand, como estas is more familiar and more um, informal. So, estas is for one that you are talking to. So it's uh, for you. No, how are you? But you there is singular. I, why am I talking about this? Never mind. Okay. I might end up talking French later on. Okay. Ito kasing mga singko na to eh. Okay. Region 12 po no. Arm. Karaga. NCR. Okay, so isipin nyo na po ang uh, sarili nyong wika mamaya. 
Okay, kung maraming wika sa inyong rehiyon, yung lingua franca, isipin sa susunod na pagsagot. Okay, yung mga, sino yung mga nag, ay hindi, sumagot na sina sir. Region 2 ang pinakamalakas kaninang sumagot. Okay, region 2. PowerPoint ka, ma'am. Summative test, a summative assessment is given at the end of the week to measure the performance of our pupils and to gauge the performance of also of the teacher. We don't only measure the performance of the pupils, but we also measure the performance of the teachers. I hope you agree with me, ma'am. It doesn't matter if I disagree, agree, spin a win, or big deal or no deal. So my question is, does it always have to be at the end of the week? Not necessarily, okay? So it can be on a weekend. <laughs> Sabi ni ma'am, yes, on a weekend. Yes, for Saturday classes. <laughs> but uh, for summative assessment for Region 1, this is more of the performance or assessment of the performance of the students. And this is usually given at the end of a certain lesson. Not necessary in a week, but probably at the end of of assessment of a certain competency, the wholeness or, or the the whole of the competence itself. And yes, yun yun, yung for every quarter, or it can be a unit, or it can be one competency that can be teach or taught in a week. And usually? Graded. Graded, recorded, and factored in the students grade for the quarter, maybe even for a year. Okay, let's move on. Classroom-based. Shout your answer from one to five if it is not five. <laughs> so you will only shout your answer if it is not five. Hmm, okay. So I will assume that it's five for everyone. And so I will ask our friends from CAR. <laughs> One is, you haven't seen the word before. Two is, okay, uh, again. <laughs> One, we haven't seen the word before. I haven't seen the word before. Two is, have seen it but do not know what it means. Three is, have seen it and I think it means this. Four is, I've, um, I've seen it. I know what it means and this is the meaning. And five is, I know the word. I can use it in a sentence. Ah, kaya po. So, di ba lahat naman hindi sumigaw ng sagot nila? Kasi sisigaw lang ng sagot kung hindi five ang sagot. So, eh, kayo po yung malapit sa akin ngayon eh. Naku, na PowerPoint si sir. Okay, so classroom based is all activities all uh, that is done in the classroom that is related to the teaching learning process that is given as an assessment. Paano naman yung owls, no? Hmm. Paano naman yung mga nasa UP Open University? <laughs> Virtual classroom. Paano naman yung mga hindi pumapasok? Ma? Sabi, life-based daw yung sa kanila. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. Classroom-based assessment. The longest so far among the words. Stand up 
if your region's answer is 1. Okay. Clap three times if your region's answer is three. Mm -hmm. Sing your original song if your answer is five. with vigor and shout God bless Karaga Grabe! Kaya nyo yun? Mama Geraldine Dativa from from Karaga wow, rhyming Geraldine a diva from Caraga. Now a participant, tomorrow a legend. <laughs> Baka ma multi-platinum artist ka na pagdating ng araw. Region 4A, hindi kayo kumanta. Sa habang panahon. Ayan. Region 4B, nasan kayo? Oh, okay. Region 3, where are you? At mayroon pang choreography, ha? John 3, kayong gagamit sa classroom-based assessment sa pangungusap. Ayan. Okay. Sabi nila, naku, sa susunod. Alright. As the term implies, ma'am, uh, uh, classroom-based assessment is an assessment or assessments that are being done or conducted inside the classroom. <laughs> okay. How not to use a term in a sentence? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Grabe. Talagang mga teachers, lagi may sagot. Okay. May idadagdag ka, ma'am. Uh, nagulat naman ako sa Region 3. Akala ko kapampangan ang kanilang uh, kakantahin. Alo. <laughs> ah, uh, alo, alo daw mga tao sa Region 3. <laughs> alo, alo kasi mga tao sa Pampanga, sa Bulacan, sa uh, Hangeles. <laughs> Taga-hangilas daw po si ma'am. Okay. And, hindi naman daw laat. Hindi naman laat. Ganun magsalita. Okay. Classroom-based assessment tools. Okay, isip-isip lang. Is it one? You haven't seen 
the term before. Is it two? You've seen it before, but you don't quite know or you're not very sure what it means. You've seen it before and you think it means this. Four is you have seen it before, you know it, in fact, you can give the meaning. And finally, five is four, you know it, in fact, you can use it in a sentence. Okay. Wala. Ayun po, excited si ma'am kahit wala pang instruction. Sige. Ma'am, five. Dahil dyan. Okay, classroom-based assessment tools are the instrument used in conducting assessment inside the classroom. For example, in my class, for example, in my class, uh, in mother tongue, I use that alphabet uh, test. Uh, yun po. That is one example of that assessment tool. Pwede rin ma'am, ibang example pa kasi plural. <laughs> uh, enough na raw. Kala ko ma'am excited much. Okay. Thank you ma'am. Okay. We stop there a bit and try to uh, breathe for a moment. Then I ask you to reflect on why I did what I did. What was that that I did and why did I do it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To know the level of our understanding about your topic. The level of understanding about the topic. What else? Thank you, ma'am, from Region 4A. Yes, ma'am. Excited din si ma'am. For me, I think you want us to activate our prior knowledge. Max, parang talagang nag-kinig kay Teacher Hazel kahapon, ha? Pre-reading, activation of prior knowledge from Region 7. I saw... Eh, sorry po, malabo mata. An saan nga ba ang Region 8, ma'am? Leighton. Leighton. Nagpunta po ako dyan. Ma'am, saglit lang po. Babalik ako. Mas nauna pong nagtaas ng kamay. Oo, wag pong iiyak. Okay, for me, you did what you just did, ma'am. Uh, for you to know how much we know about the topics and for you to know, uh, for you to be able to do some adjustments on how you're going to do the session. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, ma'am, I promise. Region? Region 1. Okay. Ay, ma'am, okay na po tayo yung mga taga-lawag. Nakabawi na. From Mario. Uh, kasi po yung uh, thesis advice kong taga-lawag, tinamaan yung, uh, yung, yung center nila. Sa lawag po siya. <laughs> Itong teacher na to kasi, inuunang tawagin yung isang estudyante, wala na tuloy ako ngayong masagot. We, uh, Ma'am, we, will, we uh, believe we, you did it because uh, you want to assess what we know and what we don't know. Grabe naman, ang serious na mga sagot nyo. Hindi ba pwedeng ginawa ko lang yon para magising kayo? Diba? Or ginawa ko lang yun para matapos nyo muna yung kinakain nyo. Diba pwede yun? <laughs> ginawa nyo po yun, yun ma'am, kasi para mapadali na lang yung ano. Yung... <laughs> tapos, diba? Tapos, mag na tayo. <laughs> Ayan. So, ayaw nyo ayaw yung tanggapin. Gusto ko lang kayong A, magising. B, matapos ang inyong kinakain. ba? Or gusto nyo idagdag C. <laughs> para raw ipagyayabang nyo na alam nyo na yan para matapos na agad. Okay? 
How many say it's A? Para lang magising kayo. Oh. <laughs> Grabe talaga. Ang sabi po naman sa amin man sa test construction course, hanggat maaari, huwag maglalagay ng all of the above or none of the above. Okay. So, sasabihin ni ma'am, okay ma'am, yung D, A, B, C, D. <laughs> ano, A, B, C daw ang sagot sa C. 